This looks good here. That's where the big ones are. I think my first fly fishing experience was I hooked a lady in the hair. <laughs> and I yanked real hard and I turned around and I had this 65 year old on the end of it. I had, the, I had all the garb on. I looked like I knew what I was doing. My name is Shannon Dukes and I'm a traveling occupational therapist for Comp Health. In addition to my OT degree, I, got, I had a psychology degree before I went to OT school. And I worked in some state mental, uh, mental hospitals. And I kind of think that set this scene for me as, uh, as, as to how I was going to uh, work with people that had problems, physical or, or mental. I, I, I tend to use humor a lot. I use it with my coworkers because I think if you can use that with your coworkers and everybody, I, I just like to lighten the situation. Um, I've already forgot your question. <laughs> <laughs> now, currently I work in an outpatient facility and I work uh, strictly with upper extremity, um, shoulder down to the fingertips. So in the future, I would like to be a certified hand therapist. You, you, know, you come out of school as a generalist, you know a lot or a little bit about a lot of different things. And, you know, take five years and just do something each year. You can do something every six months and then by the end of five years you've worked in every setting there is. And so if someone says, hey, I, how do you fit someone to this wheelchair? You can go, oh yeah, I did that. Or, you know, can you make this flexor tendon splint? Oh yeah, I know how to do that. And, you know, you know how to get the, pro the ball rolling on in a lot of different situations. The people that I talked with at Comp Health uh, were very friendly, and I thought that it was, um, they were just going to put you out there and you wouldn't um, hear from them. You know, it was just like, we're going to connect you with this hospital or this outpatient facility and, and have a good time. Um, they call you every day when, when, when you get there and, and until you feel comfortable and they, they know things are going well. You know, when you first get a job, you're thinking more of a paycheck, I think, when you first start. Um, and not really the experience. And now, I think that um, being a traveler after with five years' experience, I'm, I'm I can pretty I, I'm able to go where I want to, uh, and and at the same time enjoy the things uh, that are around that job, uh, whether it's golf or biking or or fishing. And I think too that the, just the people that I've met, uh, I, I have friends in Alaska now that I could visit at any time. And um, I'm developing some good friendships here, professional and personal. My recruiter helped me uh, make the decision to come to Yuma and work in an outpatient facility where I could get the hand experience I need uh, before I take my certified hand therapy exam. Um, I think the worst thing is being on a pediatric ward where there's a, an eight-year-old girl with spina bifida and she's in a wagon because she can't walk. But she's got the spunk of, you know, any eight, normal eight-year-old, and you know from your training that she's not going to be able to walk. But then you have to try to motivate her to do as much as she can. You need that diversion. You know, you need to get out and just and just fight with nature. Whether it's biking a, a trail two hours up up the side of a mountain with the possibility of running into a brown bear, or you know, going out and playing a round of golf in the heat of the sun. And then when you come back to the eight-year-old, your mind is clear and you're ready to handle all those hard questions, those tough moments that are gonna come up. Ultimately, the questions that a, someone like that may ask you.